Good evening and welcome to me, Phil Scrayton, from home, accompanied by one of my favourite musicians and artists, Barry Kerr, Lock Alton. The Duncan 100. It began life as the Duncan 50. Ray and company, they envisaged a place of new music, of spoken and critical word and also of critical reflection, an antidote to the gigs and the festivals often supported by public funds that have little relevance to the communities out of which they arise. The way I look at it is like Russian dolls, right at the inside of us, the self, the individual, you and me, musicians, poets, young and old, then the communities, the next doll, and then the society. That idea that we live within communities, we live within society, and that we live within borders. Some of those are real borders, some of those are imagined borders. We're here to transform those borders. Because each of us have our own language, each of us have our own identity, our own culture, and our own histories. But we have words, music, and creativity to plumb into that. When I arrive at the Duncan, there's always a buzz. Morning, noon, night. Old friends, new acquaintances. Whether we're there on the Sunday morning with families or at gigs. Coming together to listen, to share, to laugh and to reflect. And through these challenging weeks, the Duncan Virtual brings us close. In solidarity, we really live the community online. The musicians, the poets are as ever supporting us in difficult times for all of us but also for them. We support them. Please buy their albums, not through Amazon or any other party, but as direct as possible from their websites. Stay safe, compañeros. Enjoy the gigs. Love and comradeship, as ever. So I was thinking about doing this today um, and this song came to mind um, because it seems to encapsulate everything that is right and wrong with the situation that we find ourselves in. So this is Everything is Free by Gillian Rush. Everything is free. Thank you. 
Hello, I'm Kevin Valley. Uh, myself and my brother Niall are delighted to have the opportunity to play a few tunes for you that we've put together for the Duncairn Virtual Cabaret Project. Niall and myself live in the same street in Cork City. That's him there. We couldn't record in the same room obviously in the current climate so we've magically linked up with the help of some modern stuff. Hope you enjoy it. We're delighted to be part of this project and would like to thank Ray and all the gang at Dunkern for including us and for thinking of artists and supporting artists in these difficult times. Please support the project by donating something at the Dunkern website and also support artists by buying our CDs and merchandise direct. Amazon and Spotify don't need any more money. All the best. <laughs>
because um, first of all, it's great centre drum care and art centre in North Belfast. Amazing, amazing people. Ray and all the gang, uh, brilliant. And um, and I want to support the musical community in Ireland, of which I'm a part of. And uh, I haven't had any paid work since December. I was hoping for gigs now in the March, you know, uh, and April, about eight gigs got cancelled. So uh, no work, no paying work for the summer. Hopefully the summer, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen, but um, so uh, it's sort of kind of up in the air at the moment. Um, everyone's in the same boat, you know, all the musicians. Um, I'm hoping to get some social welfare back in the scratcher. <laughs> Been a long time. But uh, we're all in the same boat, so let's let's rock the boat, huh? Um, when I was younger in the 1980s, um, it was these old guys, Elphilus, around the city centre in Dublin. Lockhards, used to call them. And uh, you'd be parking your car, you know, and you'd be there, a pig cap, you know, and a sort of battered nose over here, and sort of unshaven, you know, smell a drink off them. Lockhart! They'd sort of like guide you in, you know. To, to the where you were parking and uh, be half pissed, you know, looking for the fuel bob and give the fuel bob, yeah. And uh, they'd be trying to get enough uh, up, up enough for a few points, you know. And uh, you give me a fuel bob, you know, but if you didn't, uh, sometimes you come back to a flat tire or a smashed window or something. <laughs> I don't like this, but uh, so if I don't get any more shows, that's what I'm gonna become the lockhead. Give us a fuel bob, will you? But uh. <laughs> This song, um, it's about breaking out of a headspace where you're beating yourself up all the time. As my old mate Sparky says, don't be beating yourselves up. There's plenty of things that'll do that for you.
if I pull too tight, I'm gonna block the light and the sunrise. I will see. Yes, I'll go watch the day to keep the past at bay. But forgiveness is the key. If I pull too tight, I'm gonna block the light. I wanna feel the lovely warm sunrise in me. Yeah, busting out of here. We'd all love to do that at this point, wouldn't we? But we can't. We have to stay at home this Easter weekend. And that was Damien Dempsey, of course, and John Reynolds. And thanks to them for that contribution. Welcome along to the Virtual Cabaret brought to you by the Duncairn, which is more than an arts and community centre. It's based on the Antrim Road in North Belfast. I'm Lynette Fay. I am the co-host tonight and delighted to be with you again. Connor Caldwell will be along very soon. And thanks very much to Professor Phil Scraden for his heartfelt start to proceedings this evening. And what a start we've had. We've had amazing performances. Damo and John just now, and then Pauline and Pauline Scanlon, that is, and Nicola Joyce in Galway, and then brothers Kevin and Niall Valley performing in their homes in Cork as well. Brilliant, brilliant music to start the second of our cabaret series. And um, we're bringing artists together, we're bringing a community together as well. And in the absence of the gig economy um, the idea behind this cabaret is to give musicians a platform and generate some income for musicians as well so that's why we're asking you if you're watching this tonight if you're watching again on YouTube after the initial broadcast we're asking you to donate what you can if you can to this project and we'll continue to bring you great music over the next few weeks if you do that um, you can join the community online as well if you want to. We'd love to hear from you. And we've come up with a really imaginative hashtag, hashtag Duncairn Cabaret. So if you want to get involved and let everybody else in on the secret, um, get using the hashtag on social media, hashtag Duncairn Cabaret. And uh, we'll have more from Pauline and Nick and Damien Dempsey later on, by the way. Many, many more coming up as well. 
will be able to bring you a really wide range of music and I suppose that is the unique selling point of this cabaret. It is exactly that. There's something for everyone, we hope, in the performances we bring you every Saturday night. But now for a solo performance from one third of the amazing talent that is Alfie and she's going to play some reels for us on the harp. This is Alana Thornburg. Two reels to start with. The first one is called Ornette's Trip to Belfast and the one after is called The Hush and the Bog. So I hope you enjoy. Welcome to the shed, Kaluktunan, Burris County, Carlo. My name is Laura Quirk, and I'm here to sing some songs for you. Um, I'm usually I usually play in a band called Lemon Cello uh, with Claire Kinsella, who is now up in Donegal, and I'm down in County Carlo, so we're opposite sides of the country from each other, unfortunately. So this one I'm going to do. This one I'm going to do alone. Thanks a million to Ray and the, all the guys from the Duncairn for, um, for asking us to do this. It's such a great opportunity for artists to get to share their work again and, uh, yeah, and, and to connect with other human beings. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so thank you. And um, there is a link there that you can donate if you feel like it um, or if you have the means understand that this is a difficult time for everyone so um i just i just hope you enjoy the video and the next one i'm going to do is a song called house of cards and uh, actually in the recording of this song which is on the ep oil and water um 
the uh, we have a field recording of a whole load of hooligans from Belfast um, that were accidentally recorded on Claire's phone when we were out on the lash after a, a really good night in the Duncairn and uh, yeah, we were all just standing outside and Claire was recording uh, by accident on her phone. She was recording the whole night out. It was something like three hours long or something like that. And there were all these really beautiful, boisterous Belfast accents in it. And so we um, stole them and put them underneath the recording of House of Cards. So you can go and listen to it and see if you recognise anyone in it. Okay. Keep 
make a peace between the walls that divide My hands are freezing. Well, Akarja, it's my honour and privilege to be back this week co-presenting this second episode of the Dunkerns virtual cabaret extravaganza streaming to you all across the globe. I'm presenting here from BT15, just up the road from the centre itself, alongside Lynette Fay and Phil Scratton. And if nothing else, this gives me an opportunity to put a shirt on and trim the beard a wee bit and talk myself into thinking that everything is okay. So wherever you are joining us this evening, we hope that the virtual cabaret is giving you an opportunity to take your mind off what's happening outside your front door and that you're relaxed and comfortable enjoying a nice drink of your choice, maybe have the fire roaring alongside you. Um, and we're just going to try and get through this all together, aren't we? So we heard some extraordinary music there from Laura Quirk. She's one of the best songwriters in Ireland at the minute. I was a wee bit sad though because I'm so used to hearing her perform alongside her great friend and playing partner Claire Kinsella and they of course formed the duet Lemoncello. So I talked last week about how community is really at the centre of everything we do in the Dunkern and Lemoncello are a really important part of that community on Artistic Network so we can't wait to see them back on the stage very soon. Now we're going to move on and we're going to hear music from a fiddle player who is really among the top names in Irish traditional music today. She's comfortable in a whole range of genres, which of course include our own national music, but it extends to classical music, to American music, and more genres beside that. And she has worked in some experimental areas as well. She's performed regularly alongside Donal Lunny and Martin O'Connor. And she is of course Zoe Conway, playing with her husband, John McIntyre, who is, I suppose, in his own right, a virtuoso on the guitar and a great Donegal man for it. We're gonna hear a piece from them called Harmonium. Following on from that, we're going to hear from two brothers from County Wexford who formed the duo, The Ocelots. And then we're going back to Pauline Scanlon for another fantastic piece of music. So I'm really looking forward to this next segment and I hope you are too. Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're all keeping well. Um, we're delighted to be giving you a virtual concert from the Cooley Mountains here beside this beautiful river. Um, this is part of the virtual cabaret organized by the Dunn Clown. And thanks very much to Ray and all the team for coming up with this really lovely idea for artists and uh, a way of us to bring our music to you even in the current climate. And um, so we're going to start off with a nice lively tune. This is one called Tune for a Found Harmonium, composed by Simon Jeffs. <laughs> Thank you. 
my slimy star. Hello. Hello there. Good evening. Good day. How are you getting on? We're the Ocelots. The Ocelots. I'm Brandon. This is Ashley. Hello um, again. We're very excited to be part of the the Duncan Virtual Cabaret. It's a privilege to get asked. It's an rain. assortment of talent. Yes. Um, so we're going to play a few songs for you. Does, it's going to be donation based because of the the current the current climate bug that's happened. Um, the circumstances. The circumstances. Yeah. We we're we're in a we're in a farmhouse in Queensland and Australia. Uh, we're here, sort of hiding hiding away, save it Private Ryan style. We we went over to to do a mission and uh, it, didn't, it didn't go so well. So we're we're in hiding at the moment until we can get back back, back to military back base. To, back to Tom Hanks. Back to Tom Hanks. Um, so yeah, we're gonna play a few songs. This first one's called The Switch. Um, be like it. And thanks for the don't care to having us. It's minus six in the six of nowhere, finding ourselves out. The clock it ticks as the snow it slips from the roof tops all around. Scanlon and this is my good friend and neighbour Nicola Joyce and friend and uh, we're here in County Galway actually 10 feet into County Mayo if the truth be told um, and uh, we're really glad and really delighted to get a gig for the first time in a few weeks um, to sing these songs for you as part of the virtual cabaret it's an amazing thing that um, all the crew in Belfast and the Dunkern are doing and uh, we're really delighted um, it's the first time I've sung a song in the best part of a month, so um, bear with me. <laughs> Thank you. 
She really knows how to pull at the heartstrings, doesn't she? Fantastic performance yet again from Pauline Scanlon and Nicola Joyce there. And that was my dearest dear. And I love that they're sitting at the far side. And I suppose we just get that feeling of intimacy with all the artists performing on the virtual cabaret this evening. And I do hope that you're enjoying it and you're enjoying this slice of bringing music from our homes to yours. Um, and that's what it's all about and indeed feel free to let the wider virtual world know about this virtual cabaret and use the hashtag Duncairn Cabaret on social media if you're watching along in real time and even if you're watching back again at some stage during the week. Um, let us know what you think of the performances and um, if you like the idea as well. We, re we really really do, we think there's great value in it but I suppose the only value in it is if we do end up supporting the musicians because that's the reason this was set up in the first place so um, please donate what you can if you can and uh, go to the Duncairn page and do that that's Duncairn the Duncairn.com now I have a very very serious question for you who feels like a bit of a sing-along like it's Saturday night folks let's do this it's over to Damien Dempsey hope I'll have a dance to this if you know it and sing along uh, it's very high so anybody with a high voice help me out will you <laughs> Oh, no. 
Legend. <laughs> Hello everyone. So I was really looking forward to playing at the Dunkirk in May as part of the Cathedral Quarter Arts Festival. So I thought it would be lovely to instead join Ray and everyone else and have a few virtual tunes for you to enjoy. So I'm going to start off with Talaikna Kirk, which is a tune I learned from the Kalantaruch or Diddling of uh, Dal Alistair Johnson from Eochar in South Uist. And uh, Talaikn and Kirk in English is Song of the Chickens. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Junior Brother. Nice to meet you. Um, going to do a couple of songs here for Ray and, Dun and the Dun Can team. Um, it's great to be contributing to this project because it is encouraging people to come together and to uh, enable a sense of community at a time when we're all apart. Uh, in my case, and in the case of the other artists doing this, uh, musicians being out of pocket and out of work and out of gigs, um, this is a chance for us to do a bit of a gig when we can't have people to listen to us in real life. So I'll start off and uh, I hope you like it. There are other times The day seems glad to see me Revealing his bare 
and the round Watching the moon From a lake reflection Ruined by swans Settling their movement Then gone For better views of the bins This feeling reminds me At the back of my uh, This feeling reminds me At the back of a uh, Sing to the click of a quickening heel So nobody can take a fellow's company From himself stylings of junior brother ladies and gentlemen one of the breakout artists in ireland of 2019 and someone who we've been very very pleased to hear up close and in person in belfast you'll have heard his music all across the airwaves of course as well and he is someone who's enhancing his reputation day by day and a shakarja bugamajaraya august rahamaj gogidora gundi gunal august karamaj karch 
a Cahal O'Curran, Carrie uh, McCudge. Cahal O'Curran is a friend of mine and a wonderful person and musician. He plays the fiddle extraordinarily well. He plays the banjo, bazooki, guitar. He writes songs, he sings songs from his own locality. And that's what we're going to hear now. In a couple of minutes, we're going to hear a song called Bridge Ogni Walia. Very, very famous song from Southwest Donegal. Uh, and it's one I first heard sung by Altan about 30 years ago. Following on from that, then we're going to hear more from the Ocelots, more from Damien Dempsey, more from uh, Zoe Conway and John McIntyre. We're going to hear more from Phil Scratton. It goes on and on. We really hope you're enjoying yourself this evening. And we hope that you will push that donate button and support our wonderful artists uh, who are giving their music to you this evening. So, Anisha Kharja, Cahal o Karain and Bridge Og Niwalya. Mahu a Cahal. Shay, Uran, Atan, Aferma. Let me meet Mat Og and Sakran Og, I guess Shay, Uran, the Ranyam, Bridge Og Niwalya, Atan, I guess I had to cut it down. We call Shah a foot fat and she did a Sakran Og, I guess I had to cut it down. We call Shah a foot fat and she did a Sakran Og, I guess I had to cut it down. We call Shah a foot fat and she did a Sakran Og, I guess I had to cut it down.
Thank you, that's a, a new one called um, Motor Hotel. It's about going across Austra Australia for the first time. Um, yes, if you liked your music too, please consider buying our new album and um, following us on all the social media. The, we, we're on theoslots.com and we also have a, a Patreon account where we put up all, our, all of our blogs. We have Google as well, uh, Google Plus. Um, yes, WhatsApp and uh, my, MySpace, Bebo. They, they'll all, all be up there as well. Um, yes, thanks. I hope you enjoyed washing, wa washing yourself. Yeah. And, um, washing your hands. Washing your hands. And uh, thanks, thanks so much to Ray for having us mm. involved in the, in the cabaret. Um, ciao. Ciao. So we've come to the end of our concert. We hope that you enjoyed it. And don't forget that you can donate by um, donating at thedunfarn.com. Um, we're going to finish up with a bit of a fun piece for me and John to play. And this is actually an American bluegrass piece and it's called Dragon the Bull. So I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again at some stage on the road. Wednesday, the 15th of April, it will be the 31st anniversary of the FA Cup semi-final between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest at Hillsborough Stadium in Sheffield. It was a neutral stadium and Liverpool fans crossed the Pennines on a beautiful spring day. Over 24,000 of them have to pass through 23 old turnstiles, an area no bigger than a school playground, a river on one side, a stone wall on the other. There was an unbearable crush outside, Victorian turnstiles. The police opened the exit gates and unstewarded down a one in six gradient tunnel, Liverpool fans walk into the back of already 
packed central pens. Pens like cattle pens. No way back up the tunnel because of those coming down. Fences to the side and a 14 foot fence at the front. A barrier collapses. A pile of bodies at the front. And the gates are jammed. Eventually 96 die. 400 are seriously injured and thousands are tra traumatised. A Home Office inquiry is established, a police investigation, no prosecutions. Inquests, accidental death verdict. We established the Hillsborough Project. In 1990, we produced our first report. Our second in 1995, highly critical of the authorities. Jimmy McGovern's film followed, highly critical of the authorities. And still nothing happened. So I wrote Hills for the Truth, first edition, 1999, and again, nothing happened. The Hillsborough Family Support Group and the Justice Campaign continued to fight for justice. In 2010, the Hillsborough Independent Panel was established by the Labour government, and we went through two million documents from 80 organisations. I headed the research. In 2012, the government, the groundbreaking report was published, 153 findings against all of those in authority and the fans exonerated. A new criminal investigation was established and a new independent police complaints commission investigation followed. They're still ongoing. The verdicts were quashed and new inquests were held. And the new inquest verdict, two years later, was that the fans had been killed unlawfully. And there were 25 findings against the police and all others in authority. When asked by the coroner, were the fans in any way to blame? The chair of the jury said no. I wrote this poem in honour of the fans who died and the survivors and their families. Their voices will be heard. With the early spring sun came warmth and hope, spirits lifted through snow-capped hills. Streets alive with nervous laughter, another adventure in another place. Vibrant voices breaking solitude silence. Approaching Hillsborough, calm and joyous, walking expectantly to a Wembley final. Safe passage ended down that fateful tunnel, in pens like cattle between concrete and steel. Desperate voices so cruelly silenced. From callous indifference in a gymnasium's cold, to taking blood from the innocent, the young, their deaths examined through a distorted lens, rupturing further families' broken hearts. Bereaved voices, cowed by contempt. Lies tripped easily from forked tongues, condemning, vilifying the rescuers, the brave, relentlessly feeding pens filled with poison, rewriting the truth and spreading deceit. Survivors' voices, denied, dismissed. Verdicts and judgments came and went. Lawyers and politicians minced their words. A city portrayed as racked by self-pity, its I people's isolation now complete. Determined voices now walking alone. Shattered by loss but unbroken in spirit, in the face of injustice you never back down. You force them to listen. You sacrificed your lives. You bore witness with dignity on the day of reckoning. And their voices your voices have been heard. That reading comes from my book, Hillsborough The Truth. And Dan Gordon's film, Hillsborough, is available on YouTube. Thank you. I'm just after learning an old Irish tune, very, very old one, centuries old. Well, I'm trying to learn it on the piano, so I might just play it for you, because this is, since it's a cabaret, you have to have a bit of variety, you know? So I'll try and play it. It could be now, it could be a lot of but we will give it a go just to send us off. I'm cooling. Look it up if you don't know it. I'm sure a lot of you know it now, but uh, it's a beautiful old show. Centuries old Irish show. I'll give it a go.
I'll try and make the best of it. It's for Brian McCabe and Kit the Fever. To start somewhere. I'm only learning the Gaga and the piano. <laughs> so give it a go. Huh? Thanks a lot guys for listening to me. Grammar everybody and uh, 
if you can, no bother if you can't, but if you can uh, support the musical community. If you want to support me in the next while, you can go on the website and maybe buy a t-shirt for a friend, if, only if you had the money and you wanted to, or buy the album Union or something, or uh, maybe come to the Ivy Gardens and if you're around in July, and uh, DamienDenshi.com. And uh, thanks to everybody at the Drum Karen Art Center. Incredible place, incredible people. And uh, I'll talk to you and see you and sing to you and sing with you soon. <laughs> Be safe. My hoo hoo and demo to Iraq War Janta Okutinshan. I'm cooling from Damien Dempsey on piano brings this evening's cabaret to a close. And uh, thanks to himself and John Reynolds for their contributions. Brilliant throughout. And thanks to everyone who was involved. I think tonight's uh, cabaret was absolutely out of this world, um, just like last week. And you can watch this back again if you want as well. It will be available on YouTube. YouTube just look up Duncairn Arts. And uh, we hope to continue this, the virtual cabaret brought to you by the Duncairn every Saturday evening from half past eight. Lesson Erna or Ralinet, Bamajan Shaw or Rish or Lahanye a Hocked, Jasahern Shaw Hogging will be back at 8 30 next Saturday with the third episode of the Duncairn's virtual cabaret. Now, if you're sitting at home, ladies and gentlemen, and for whatever reason you feel that you can't donate to the performers this evening, there's something you can do which costs absolutely nothing, and that's share this stream. So press the share button in Facebook, copy and paste the link from YouTube into your various social media accounts, tell your friends, your family, your neighbours about the show, and Let's hope we get a bigger audience again next Saturday. We've been bowled over with the audience that we've had so far. And we really, really want to see this series grow and grow and grow uh, through the month of April. So that's really it for from us, from Lynette, myself, from Phil, from all the team at the Dunkern, from Ray, Josh and Barry, who are working very, very studiously behind the scenes to bring to put this episode together. From all of our artists and from everybody associated with the project, we hope you have a very, very happy Easter, that you have a relaxing Easter week, especially if you're off from work, and that you stay safe, that you look after your friends and family, and we will see you next week on the virtual cabaret from the Dunkern. Slam.